Hello people of YouTube. I opened my front door today and was greeted with a bit of a surprise. I have two packages from Eagle Moss, which is the uh, group or company that does the Star Trek ships or Star Trek ships magazine. Now I expected one package because after making the last video I realized I was missing something. I subscribed to their deal where if you do the monthly subscription you get little bonuses and the first one being a binder or folder to keep your magazines in. I realized I didn't get that so I made a phone call because I find it much more productive to phone them than to email. I made a phone call and I asked when do I get this binder? They told me I should have got it with the second shipment of issue 2 and 3. I did not. I had just opened issue 2 or 3. And I did not get it. So they said they'd send me another one. So I suspect that one of these two is the binder that I did not get. But the other one is, I'm not sure. Is it the next installment? Is it issue 4 and 5? I don't know. I haven't opened them. One does feel a little heavier than the other. This one feels a little lighter weight. Did they accidentally send me two? I don't know what's going on. One way to find out is to open it up. Push that to the side. What do we have? It appears that this is indeed the binder with a neat little series guide. Let's get this out of the way. So I finally got my binder and I'm going to have to look into how to put the magazines in there. This shows what's coming up. That's really nice. Very nice. So I've got my binder. Now, I'm going to put that to the side. Now I want to know what is in this box. like we had two binders. That's kind of funny. Interesting. We have two binders and I have another copy of the first issue. So how very strange. How very strange indeed. Looks like the same binder with the same magazine and then here's issue one that I've already received. So I'm guessing there's been a little mix-up. Originally I had gotten a letter. Originally there was a mix-up with the address. That was my fault. I accidentally typed in an incorrect address. I typed in one number wrong. And right after submitting I realized I put a four instead of a three. So I contacted them via email. Said hey, I made a mistake. Can I get this fixed? They said they would. I waited for a couple weeks and I finally got a letter in my mailbox. It had the wrong address. It still had the four where it should have been a three. And in the top corner it had written on it wrong address. So they delivered it. They still had the wrong address. They delivered to the wrong address. That person wrote on the letter wrong address postman figured out who it was supposed to be for and I got it. In that letter it said that they were currently out of stock with my ship or with the first issue. So I called them up. Number one, well here's what happened. I got the letter. It's got the wrong address. I got lucky and still got it because the postman figured out and says you're out of stock. First of all I need to fix the address. So they fixed it. 
And then they told me they didn't understand why I would have gotten a letter. It is in stock. And they'll order me another one. So then, about 11 or 12 business days later, I got the first ship. I've already made that video. I got the Enterprise D. And then, maybe a week later, I got issue 2 and 3. And that's when I called and said, hey, I never got this, this binder. And then they said they would send that out to me. So now, apparently, however this worked out for them, they have now sent me what I can only assume was supposed to be my original package with the Enterprise C and D in it, or excuse me, Enterprise D and, and binder. It's just showed up at the same time as the replacement binder that I didn't get. So now it's time to make use of this book. And it's a little interesting how this works. It wasn't terribly hard to figure out, but at first it puzzled me. Because you have these two flaps here, and they have pegs in them. And what I've done is I've pulled all the pegs out of here. They're basically in pairs. I'll flip this over. You can see these pegs, they're joined in the middle. So for each row that you see, for each row that you see, there's two of them. You see there's sets, a pair of them. Now what you do, so I went ahead and did one end, the top end. You pull them all out, and then you flip this open. It kind of snaps. And you put them all into these spots and snap it back. And so you've got all these pegs sticking up. And then you turn around and do the same for this side. Now a lot of these will pull right out. Some are going to be more stubborn than others. So I'm going to push all these off to the side. And now, and this part can probably come out, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I clip or unclip this and fold it open. You can see all those slots where these go. Oh, it's time. You just slip these. There's one end that's thin. Oh, there's another end that has a little flare to it. Stick the straight end in. Okay, that's, that's all of them. So now, I'll leave that open because that's the bottom. Oh wait, I might have it, I have it upside down. That's the top. So I'm going to snap that shut. Flip it back over. And we're going to want to open this one back up. Because, if I understand this correctly, here we have issue one. Now what you do is you open it to the center page where you can see the staples. And I believe this part may be a little tricky. This part is a little tricky. But you kind of slide it. I don't know how well that's going to come out. You want to slide it bind under that peg. Under just one of them. Oh, that's two of them. There we go. And then the bottom one. What we're going to have to do is slide that peg out probably. Stick the magazine down in there. And slide the peg back. There we go. So now we're going to push all these back in here. 
snap that shut to demonstrate that we now have one. And so now we've got the first one in there. I'm going to kind of go back. We've got issue one clipped in. And it kind of tends to open to the center because the pegs are here. And you can see that the peg goes right over the center binding on the bottom and on the top. And then if we flip this over more, there's quite a few more pegs. But those are what hold it in there. You just slide it to center of the magazine under one of those pegs. And this side you pretty much have to open and slide the peg out, set the magazine in there, and push the peg back in. I'll try to do another demonstration with issue two. Open it to the center page, which is where you can see the staples. And, and then you try to there we go. Slide it over the one peg. Just like that. Then we come down to this side, open this up, and we're going to need to slide those pegs out or slide the one peg. I've got the one peg slipped out here, and now it's time to stick this in and see if we can't get it to go under the peg. This may be easier said than done. Let's stand this up. There we go. I think that might do it. There we go. So it's a tight fit. Now we've got the second one in there. Just have to stand magazine one up. So one more time. Issue three. Slip it under the top peg. This one's a lot easier. And then I'm going to push that bottom peg out. Slide this in there. Help to pick these magazines up. There we go. Hopefully that's coming out. Snap this back. And now I have the first three issues laid out or connected or whatever you want to say into my binder. So that's cool. That's cool. And there's room for more. But now they're all together. And I can neatly put this in a shelf. I now have my binder. If you like the Star Trek ships like I do, I kind of wish they had a Star Wars version. Then again, I don't really have the money for that right now. But if you like the ships like I do, this is nice to have. It's not very expensive. The ships are really neat. I would, be, I would like them if they were a little better, but they would probably cost more. And the magazine is a neat little bonus with information. If you subscribe online, you get this bonus holder. As other bonuses, I'll get in time. Uh, contacting them by email is a hit and miss. But contact them on phone. Their customer service is great. They will fix whatever they can for you. They made a mistake and sent me an extra ship. They said not to worry about sending it back. I just got off the phone with them a few minutes ago. Which is awesome. I'll give it as a gift to another friend of mine who doesn't have anything like that. Maybe it'll get them into subscribing. Who knows? But this is cool. So thank you for watching. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up.